race when that engine was spewing water did you think you had any chance to win the daytona 500 not really uh, we had a lot of problems like we had the engine spew out water and we uh, uh had a little bit of fuel problem we lost a tachometer lost the radios and, and i couldn't talk i could hear them so that was good for them guys but um what a great race i really need to thank um greg biffle did a great job working with me today we both had really fast rockets i think it's just uh ended up uh, who was in front of the end and um I also thank uh, Sprint, Best Buy, Zest, Ford Motor Company, uh, Babylon Gatorade, and uh, Citizen Watches. I appreciate all their support, and I uh, can't believe we're standing here twice in one week. Tell us about Greg Biffle sticking behind you. Is that a matter of friendship? Is it a matter of teammate or two guys driving forward? I think it's a combination of everything, but really it's a combination of what was going to give us both the best finish, you know, and I think uh, when I pull up in front of him and he'd push me and we could get clear of the, the car behind me. That was a big key. We could just be going so fast by the time we got to the other end, and uh, a lot of that is because of Doug Yates and the engine room. This stuff was uh, was awesome all weekend. Is there a happier man in America right now than you? Uh, there might be, but I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you. Second Daytona 500 for Matt Kenseth. Matt.